Sidetrack Bookshop in Royal Oak, Michigan became the center of conflict for hosting a drag queen story time. Protesters recently came from across the state to oppose what they call the sexualization of children. Event store owner, you know, has a right to host an event, any events they want, right? Now, for children, I think it's abysmal. I think it's, I think it's terrible, and I'm, I'm dead set against over-sexualization of children from all perspectives. We've seen so many examples of these uh, drag queen events, and dances, and things like that in front of five-year-olds who don't understand. I think it's absolutely disgusting. Protesters were met by many locals who were there to support the bookshop and the story time. I came out here today because I'm a parent. It's important to me that my kids get to grow up to be who they want to be, that they get to express that any way they want. I hope anybody who wants to bring their kids to, to a drag queen story time feels safe and feels like they don't need to be afraid of protests or haters. The controversy here is part of a larger backlash against LGBTQ plus rights across the U.S., with more than a dozen states aiming to ban or restrict drag performances. With both sides very passionate in their opposing views, it's important to see what drag queen story time looks and sounds like. Unicorns. Do you guys like unicorns? A Drag Queen Story Hour event, essentially what it's like is what you see right here. Beautiful queens and beautiful entertainers sharing beautiful stories about love, acceptance, mostly art, um, being read to amazing children from our community. We do nothing more than that. We show up, look glamorous, read some amazing educational books, and we get to go home and be glamorous. It's really just about growing those community connections and having this safe place where we can come in, we can read a few stories and have a good time. I believe that uh, this type of event is going to foster inclusiveness and empathy in children and hopefully all these children that come to a story hour where drag queens are reading grow up to uh, be inclusive adults and to squash hate like there is somewhere out there. In the crowd. <laughs> Despite backlash, Sidetrack Bookshop will continue to run Drag Queen Storytime. For PBS NewsHour Student Reporting Labs, I'm Dakota Hendren in Royal Oak, Michigan.